In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles here with you on a Wednesday afternoon. Well, I've been trying to piece together what's been going on here today with this, with what the Pope said here, <clears throat> what he released today. And um, apparently what I understand of what's going on here is that there's the Synod's final document of, and then the Pope took that and wrote his exhortation on it. But here's what seems to really be going on. All right, the, the, what the Pope wrote, people are saying, you know, you know, there's really nothing final in there. Although what I posted very early this morning, a couple of videos ago, uh, seemed to put an end to um, the whole idea of abolishing celibacy. But who really knows? All right, so anyway, here, there's a loophole here, and that's, they're going to use the uh, Synod's final document here. I'm going to read to you a couple of different things here. Francis doesn't intend to replace the Amazon Synod's final document, he writes in uh, Quirita Amazonia, which is what, what was presented today. Instead, he wants to officially present it and encourage everyone to read it in full. <laughs> the final document calls for married priests and new ministries for women. So we have the idea of celibacy, and then we have married priests, and then we have ministries for women. See, we have three different things here. Munich Cardinal Marx stressed at a press conference in Bonn that the final document is by no means off the table, dbk.de, all right? He was echoed by Cardinal Serzi, who said at the Vatican Presser that this text remains on the table, while the Synod Secretary Cardinal Baldessari stated that the final document has moral but no magisterial authority. So they all seem to be up to no good. <laughs> That's what the, this article says. All right, now let's read this one. Cardinal Claudio Yumis, 85, who grew up in a German colony in Brazil, confirmed that ordaining married men will be rediscussed. Okay. Eumis, a key Francis ally, was the Amazon Synod's Relator General. According to Estado.com, February 12, Eumis said that this question now needs to be worked on with the Pope in the bodies of the Holy See. <laughs> a a excuse me. A Vatican organism announced by Francis after the Synod will play an important role in ordaining married men in areas of scarcity, Eumis added. Oh, yes, the new Vatican organism that Francis created. It all has to do with manipulation and, you know, pulling the wool over people's eyes and uh, doing uh, word gymnastics, you know, flip and turn and twist words around, get everybody all confused. All right, therefore, the Synod's final document, which asks for abolishing celibacy and introducing deaconesses, will not go on the shelf. Bello Horizonte, Archbishop Walmore Oliveira, 65, recall that Francis commissioned a study to update questions concerning the 
ecclesiastical ministry since the current document is more than 50 years old, as if the priesthood has changed in the meantime. Yeah, who knows what, you know, who knows what they're trying to pull, you know, they're, I mean, it seems like, you know, they, they try to give you one idea, but really they're not going to let these ideas go. You, 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 you watch here, you know, you, you watch and see, see how this plays out over a period of time, um, you know, and, and really what, what, not only what they say, but what actually happens, you know what actually happens you know the the fruits of a morris letitia um you know i i mean i've seen several articles i don't necessarily make a video of them um but the fruits of that footnote um oh you know that um the modernists say allow uh, for for communion for the civilly remarried people um you know, I mean, that, that that's really bearing fruit now as people go through this so-called discernment process. And, um, you know, it's just terrible. And, pe you know, you read articles and people say, oh, I feel great, I can receive communion now. You know, where, I mean, I believe uh, that they're making a big mistake. But, well, anyway, I like the cartoon. So we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.